Let's go for Reese. P1 Climax. So I should probably talk in these silences. But I'm not used to. And that's... It's just like the TV world. I don't have the words to describe how much the school has changed. The building itself looks about the same, but on top of it is this weird tower. Now that I'm seeing it up close, it's really creepy. P1 Climax? So someone's holding one of those events in the real world? It was fine last time since I wasn't participating, but I bet I'm in the same boat as everyone else now. Jeez, I hope I don't get stuck with a weird name like theirs. It's hard to see near the top because the fog is so thick, but I wonder if everyone's already inside the school building. Come, Persona! I fully open my consciousness, concentrating my efforts on the inside of the school. I'd expected the interface to be this... <laughs> yeah, the interference to be this bad. I didn't expect it. Still, I'm sure I can do this now. I look on straight harder, almost like I'm praying. A faint voice echoes in my mind. Ah, oh, Fuka. It's not coming from inside the school. On instinct, I run to where the voice was coming from and charge right into the gym. Oh. That's interesting. So she's going to go find Fuka. It's a total mess in here. Carelessly placed filming equipment, folding chairs stacked up to the ceiling. You name it. I look toward the stage in the midst of the creeping red fog where I see an even more shocking sight. Focus on. Oh. So Yukari and Yukari are fighting. On the center of the stage is a prop-like cross. Fukas and crucified on it. Looks like she's been held up for public ridicule. She doesn't look well at all, and she's breathing in gasps. Who would do such a horrible thing to her? Near the cross is a person in pink clothes collapsed on the ground. It seems like she's the one Fukasan is calling to so desperately. Fukasan, hang on, I'll come free you. Rise-san? No, don't! You have to stay back. Huh. After Fukasan notices me and cries out, I sense an odd presence and stop. Soon afterwards, a number of arrows pierce the ground in front of me, giving off sparks. That's close. What's going on here? Huh. Looks, Looks like, like you have a good sense for these things. No wonder you're their backup. Hmm. Well, oh, this is clearly the the normal one. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. It's from the live action show on the air called Featherman Victory. What? Feather pink. I don't get what's going on here at all. But actually, taking a closer look, there's something about the stage Fukasan's on. It's the stage from the club es escapade on Port Island. On top of worrying about the girl collapsed on the ground, now I've got some kind of costume hero attacking me. Is this a hidden camera thing? No, Rize-san, that's uh, Fukasan. Take it easy. Fukasan's brow creases in pain as she tries to explain something to me. I don't really understand, but I'm getting a nasty feeling about that cross. All I know is that Fukasan is in a lot of pain and that I need to rescue her as quickly as possible. But when I try to approach the cross, Featherman Pink gets in my way. Please move aside. I need to free her. Then that makes us enemies. I hope you're prepared to show this fiend. I, Feather Pink, shall strike you down. Rise-san, please run! You have to get help! No thanks, Fuka-san, but it's okay, I can fight now. That's why I have this power, so I can be useful to everyone. Oh, you're not running away? <laughs> then we may as well get started. Bring When Feather and Pink raises her right hand like a costume hero's finishing move, Glowing red pillars to center surround us. At the same time, the gym's red curtain falls, hiding the escapade stage. I can't hear Fuka-san's voice anymore, or even sense her. Yeah, that was a rip. That that Fuka-san's voice bit. That really needs to have a big bold black eyeliner, or maybe yellow. Peace 
Peace and quiet at last. Now, are you ready? Persona! Huh, wait a second. She can use a persona? Isn't that a little on the heavy side for my first fight? Oh. Feather Ping attacks right on cue. It's not a practice attack like in shows, but a full force move meant to kill. I sh shrink away, I'm managing to dodge. She's really showing no mercy. Once again, I feel the fear an actual battle puts into you. But my senpai fought them through these, through these feelings. I get a little twinge in my twist from the guilt. I'm different now though. I can do this too. Persona. That hurt because I know Feather Pink is right. No matter how much I say that that's not how it is, and that I don't want to be like that anymore, the truth is the truth. My ideals aren't easily understood by others. All the same, I'm past pretending my flaws don't exist. All I can do is accept them without letting them defeat me and keep trying my best. Don't make any excuses. You're right. But no matter what you say, I won't let you beat me. Okay, let's do this. So, it's kind of like they were, um... How, it's like Risei is kind of like turning into Mitsuru, but kind of like on the opposite end. Like, better at Mitsuru, that sensing. But not quite as good at, at the fighting. Though, I guess she could get better, I don't know, but... Okay, let's... Oh, no. Oh, God, I don't know how to fight. Like Yukari Sam, but... Oh, should I call a champ? Probably should keep calling a champ, wouldn't I? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. It's, it's funny how there's Risei comments <laughs> But the don't scandalous me, superstar me, idol. Okay, don't that's such a cool. I probably already knew that, but I forgot. So, you know. And slightly peace. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Okay, do do. Oh, okay. Do do do. Yeah, she's. They're not very long range moves she's got there. Which is okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, oh. Her normal moves actually have longer range than any of the special moves, it seems. Which is very bizarre. What do you guys think? Slap her. Slap her. She does kind of remind me of uh, in the Naruto games uh, when they put Kushina into the, the game. I think this is a bit better done than that, though. When the battle ends and Feather Pink collapses to the gymnasium floor, the red pillar surrounding a shower as well. Okay, well, for a second I thought there was no fragments. Soon afterwards, what used to be Feather Pink melts and disappears while spitting out some kind of shiny powder. It, it disappeared. Was she a shadow? I just stand stunned as if the, at the sight before me. The curtain rises again without a sound. That's right, Fuku-san. I climb her up onto the stage and use my persona to release her from the cross. Fuku-san, are you all right? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Risei-san. So you can fight with your persona now? That's amazing. Oh, that's right, Yukari-chan. Risei-san, she needs your help more than I do. She guarded me and... You mean that lady in pink? Okay, one sec. Fuku-san seems really exhausted. Speaking at all is hard for her in, her in this state. I help up the person in pink who's collapsed a little ways away, and I'm surprised at what I see. Wait a minute, this is Yukari-san? But she's the same as the feather pink I just defeated. Huh? Where's the fake me? I have to say Fuka! Wait a minute. Thank goodness, looks like she's come too, so... Oh! Uh-oh! Oh, oh my. The video seems to have died. Oh no, I gotta... Gotta get that sorted, guys. I'm back now, guys. Thank goodness, it looks like she's come too. So was that a fake Yukari-san earlier? I don't really understand what's going on, but if Fuku-san is worried about her, 
She can't be an enemy, right? Yukari-chan, Risei-san here saved me. I'm sorry for what you went through because of me. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry I worried you too. I got caught totally off guard. Um, Risei-san? Thanks. Whoa, wait! Are you the real Rosette? You're so thin! And look at how small your face is! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that reaction. Oh, yeah. Um, I still don't really understand what's going on here. After we introduce ourselves, Yukari-san, whose full name is Yukari Takeba, and Fuku-san tell me everything leading up to this point. It seems Fuku-san's group was on the move to Inaba after picking up a normal shadow reading here. The enemy ambushed them and they were captured. And Yukari-san is a shadow operative too? So she rushed to Inaba with Labrys and so the others to rescue Mitsuru-san's group. It sounds like the enemy is using shadows to make fake versions of us and forcing us to sh fight them. They also mentioned that what's happening in Inaba right now is a lot like something called the Dark Hour. A phenomenon the Yukari-san and Fuku-san dealt with once. I'm starting to get a grasp of what's going on, but it's happening so quickly that I feel like my head is going to burst. <laughs> what should I do now? Fuku-san says her power was being drained while she was crucified, so she's pretty exhausted. I'm worried about Yukari-san's wounds too, and I'm feeling a little lightheaded from the constant fighting. After a brief gaffe in the conversation, Fuku-san innocently... Innocent... I innocently speaks up. Oh. By the way, why are you dressed like that, Yukari-chan? It looks really well made. Huh? You're just <laughs> noticing this now? Well, there's something of a story behind it. I've worn costumes from time to time too, but that one's pretty cool. It's pink and cute. Maybe I should try wearing it in a show. Transformation activate! Feather change! Or something like that. What a pro. You're pretty focused on work, aren't you? Say, didn't I hear that you're making a comeback? It must be tough to balance with school and whatnot. Homework and idle work. <laughs> you could say that again. But I don't mind so much since I have fun with all of it. That's so cool. High school girls sure are spirited. I envy your youth. <laughs> Yukari, you're not that old. <laughs> <laughs> you work hard too, you know, Yukari-chan. Nah, I just do some modeling here and there. It just so happened I got the feather pink role in an audition. Oh, you're a model? Wait, and you're the real feather pink? Wow, that's incredible. I'm so jealous of how great you look. Do you have to watch what you eat too? Oh, of course. Oh, speaking of food, I found this great place that serves delicious lunch specials the other day. Wait, no, now's not the time to talk about that stuff. Man, that girly talk. <laughs> Which, hey, I don't mind it, of course, but, you know, I come to my senses and we can, can't help but laugh. This isn't the place to have fun and indulge with girl talk. I was right. But I think it was also a good distraction in a way. I can't be indecisive of what to do next. If Fukusan and I are here, then what I need to do is already decided. I'll try searching around here. Fukusan, will you help me out? Mm hmm, of course. I'm all right now. Looks like Fukusan couldn't use the persona at all while on that cross, since it kept draining our strength. Maybe that cross can rob us of the strength of heart our personas draw on. Once Fukusan calms her breathing, she begins searching first. I sense that last time she did this too, but a powerful yet very kind feeling covers the area. I don't know exactly where, but I sense someone nearby. It seems your friends are here as well, Risei-san. <laughs> Senpai's here? Great! I knew they'd get here! Fuka, can you tell where everyone is? I still think we should meet up with them. It might be hard by myself, but... Fukuzan reaches out a hand to me. I take it and open my heart. Our hearts synchronize and a warmth I've felt, never felt before pours into me. We may not be able to get in contact with them, but we should be able to sense where everyone is for sure. Persona. I found you, Senpai. And Yosuke Senpai and Chie Senpai? Yikes, who's this? It's not Teddy. I sense a familiar presence near Aigis and Akihiko-senpai. I think they'll be okay. Let's see where Mitsudo-senpai is. 
Amazing! My senses spread over incredible distances compared to usual. I'm picking up on presences one after another, both familiar and not. Hey, what's this one? Something big. <coughs> what feels like a sharp blade hits us. And Fuku-san and I let go at the same time. What was that thing? There's something terrible here. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. That startled me though. It came from further up. From the top? What could it be? Something out of the ordinary is happening above this school. At the top of that weird tower. We nod at each other and begin running off to that place at once. Huh. Well, that's interesting. So we've got this third group now. Huh. I guess it's... Huh. And there's Naoto in her own group as well, right? So, isn't that four groups? Hmm. Yeah, she's with the, uh, the new, the, uh, like, Ken and everyone. Okay, so we've got Young Assassin. I don't know about that. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to sort out those technical problems I had. And in the next video, we'll see Young Assassin.